Located at Six Flags Badger Mountain, Lex Luther Drop of Doom is a pair of 400 foot, 122 meter free fall single drop towers. Mounted to the flank of the Superman Escape from Krypton Shuttle Coaster superstructure, this intimate drop tower hoists riders up the east and west sides of the tower. Having opened officially on July 7, 2012, the ride's construction was a feat in itself, as a piece of the ride even had to be flown up by helicopter to be attached. Riders enter into the LexCorp show building, marveling at the designs and models of the comics game this mastermind. After exiting the long hallway, riders exit outside to the station, waiting to be directed to their opposite facing gondolas. A large motor rests at the base of the tower and is connected to a hoist axle that contains the cable windings. Each cable is strong enough to hold the gondola on its own, but much like traditional elevators, there are multiple cables for safety. The cable is attached to a latching catch car after running through pulleys at the top of the tower. The gondolas and matching catch cars run up and down a vertical track with passive magnetic brakes in the middle towards the bottom of the tower. The ride uses over-the-shoulder restraints and seatbelts, but are considered not restrictive to riders. When docked in the station, the gondolas rest on spring pistons. When dispatched, the catch cars are briefly lowered farther than their resting place to latch onto the gondolas. The motor then reverses and begins the long ascent to the top. Since the catch cars are wound around the same axle, the gondolas ascend at the same time. The only difference is the ability to release the gondolas at a different moment. Since the brakes are passive magnetic fins, the gondolas begin their ascent at a slow rate. Once the gondolas are pulled past the brakes and overcome the resistance, they speed up their ascent. Once near the top, the gondolas slow to a crawl. The entire time, riders do not know if they reach the top and if the gondolas have ceased descending, as the catch car blocks their view of the top. The only thing not blocked is their view down, 400 feet down. Silence and suspense grows until the evil mastermind delivers his maniacal spiel. Seconds later, the clips unlock and the gondolas are released, letting them plummet at 85 miles per hour straight to the bottom. The brakes are tapered to allow for smooth deceleration and avoid harsh stops, which is why one fin is longer than the other, to allow different levels of resistance. When the second fin interacts with the gondola, the resistance grows, slowing the gondolas to a crawl and bringing them to a safe and calm stop as riders catch their breath. Since the ride is mounted to the flank of the Superman Escape from Krypton Tower, a coaster car will sometimes pass a gondola during its ascent or descent, and sometimes the gondolas are released to try to race the car to the bottom. Lux Luther Drop of Doom is such an amazing ride, and if you visit Sid Flag's Much Mountain, you must ride it. You will not be disappointed, and it's definitely worth a re-ride. I hope you've enjoyed today's How Does This Ride Work Mini. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed, and comment below which ride I should talk about tomorrow. This is just a bite size of what I do in this channel, and tomorrow I'll be bringing you another How Does This Ride Work Mini as part of 25 Days of Coastal Labsmas. So make sure to subscribe down below or click the beaker right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. The season with magic that will warm your heart. Holiday in the park. Can you feel it all around? Let's celebrate the season. Lights everywhere glow up the dark. Holiday in the park.